Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Season Showtime. I'm Landros and here we are, we're back here at the festival. I believe Shane's actually here too, so he did, he's not here on the actual roller skate. There he is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and let them all go over here. They're going to play, or have this water bloom fight, and we're going to do it together as an entire group. Let's see, Avery, um, man there's a lot of people here tonight. Uh, let's see, <laughs> Shane and Tabitha. You guys go ahead and go on over here and play. Let's see, is that going to cancel you guys out? Yeah, it shouldn't. Well, I mean, it should have, but it didn't. But I can cancel it for you. All right. Well, it takes them a while to figure out that they want to get off of this thing. But they'll get there. Okay, Gwendolyn, we're going to go with you because you at least know where you're headed. And if we wanted more bananas, we got them. That's one nice thing about this park, though, is if you really need to eat something and you're starving, there's something there for you. So you can actually survive here without having to do too much. Now we could get the flowers that I saw over there, but right now really it's all about having a good time. Okay, great. Yeah, she's got a gig tonight, and that would be at 7 o'clock here. And I know that Shane's got one, but it's not here. Um, or it's not here tonight, I don't think. Let me see, let's double check. This is Thursday, and his gig is on Friday. So yeah, he's got some time. But Gwendolyn will have to do this later on today. Now, Diane Whitfield has invited us to a party if we want to go, and it seems it never fails. There's always a party on Leisure Day. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to pass on the party now, and we're going to enjoy this uh, festival today, since the weather's actually pretty decent. Let's see. Let's take a look at the pool parties at 1 o'clock. Yeah, I'm going to say no, because we're going to actually stay here. Okay, where is, where is Shane? Shane, do you know where we are? Of course not. He's going to come over now. Come on, we're all waiting on you. But actually, I believe this is working on their... It's also working on their their um, throwing arm. Okay, you... Oh, well, no. Sorry. We're not going to do Simport. I am not losing anybody else right now for that. Anyway, it works on their throwing arm. It works on their dodging skills. And it also, I think, works on their relationship, if I'm not mistaken. I can be wrong. Sometimes am. Always am. Anyway. Uh, lady, you're stinky. I don't care what you do. You can fan yourself all day long, but you smell. That's why nobody's coming over there to talk to you. Okay, but I do like this thing because it'll keep them busy. If you've got a big household like I've got in many of my, uh, my LPs, you can put them over here at this thing and you can leave, go away, come back in a few minutes, and they're still actually doing it. It's nice. I do like having that. It's kind of like the nub said. If you put them out there playing nubs, they're going to be out there for a while. And they're happy. It's getting their, their fun up there. Well, actually, it's not. He's not having any fun doing this? I thought they would be. I guess not. Well, it looked like fun to me. Of course, landing on your bottom like that's probably not too fun. But, you know, that's okay. Now, there's other things to do actually here in the park. So what we're going to do is we're going to let them... I need to change them. He needs to change back into his regular clothes. Everybody else is in every day. So he needs to change when he gets done. So let's see. Um, change into every day. And then when you guys are done, what I'd like you to do is go over here and take a group picture because yeah I, I do it with all my my families and sometimes I'm like why in the world do I do it but it's kind of nice to do it at um, the beginning of the game and there's one other place I want to go get them a photo from the photo booth so we'll probably head over after um, Gwendolyn's gig tonight because they're all going to stay and watch we'll probably head over to mix karaoke and at least go through the um, the photo booth we won't all get a photo together but we'll all get individual ones and that way we can have something to put on the walls and it's more, it's a little bit of a decoration that doesn't cost anything. Alright, so Gwendolyn's team one. Very good. Alright, go ahead and change clothes and then I can get you set up and please guys do not do what I don't do anything right now. Alright, go ahead and take your photo with Gwendolyn. Take it with Shane and Tabitha. Okay, and I'll go ahead and go with you guys. Okay, you're slow. Not you. You're pretty good. You're going pretty quick. All right, this way we can get this taken care of. We'll see what they look like as a group in the very beginning. And then hopefully at the end of this LP, we'll see a difference of them. I don't know. I'm sure we will. Hopefully they'll still be alive. You never know. So, yeah, I kind of regret that I have um, Supernaturals in the town. I think the next time I do a round of LPs, once all these actually end up, I'm going to actually set it up where they don't they don't actually have um, any supernaturals in town. Okay, we're waiting on you, Avery. Come on. You're the one who initiated this, and now you got stuck over here telling a story to, who is this? 
to Mandy Best. And they're all stuck in there waiting. Did I lose them because of you? I would hope not. Come on, get over there and take... Oh, now you're going to fight. Or you're going to get upset with each other. Okay, so apparently... That's not going to work. Alright, guys. Guess you're not taking your picture because... Avery's not one to work with us. But you're going to take one. I'm going to force him to do it. Why can he not do this? Okay, now he can do it. Go with Gwendolyn. Go with Shane and Tabitha. These are your housemates. You better go over here and do this. Yeah, leave her alone. She's mean. She's mean. She's smelly. And she's hungry. Don't walk through their food. Okay, we almost did. We could buy from the kids. Can we actually buy from their table? Oh, man. Gwendolyn, it's going to rain on your show day. That's all right. We're still going to stay and do it. But, unfortunately, it is going to rain. All right. Now, I don't know. I think there's a problem with the site right now because they're down. But I'm going to try to share it. But I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work. So I'm going to have to go ahead and say no. All right. So, unfortunately, can't share anything. Wish I could. Okay. Pretty sad when it's all rainy and nasty. Why don't you guys go over here and enter the contest? Can you do it together? Um, come back in a few hours. Wow, now we got lightning. In. You know what? Forget that. We're not going to go to mix. We're going to go do it here. Take a normal close here. You come on over here. You're not going home. No, 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 no. You're not going home. And you're not going home. Please don't go home. Okay, you're already sitting in the car. You're going to go here. You're going to go here. I don't care if you're wet. I don't care if it's thunder and lightning and crazy. You're going to all come over here. You're not going to leave till I tell you to leave. It's just water. It's not going to hurt you. Okay, you're you're here already, so you're next. Um, tell you what, I'm going to set you up. You're not leaving. You're not leaving. Go ahead and take a photo. Take normal pose. Let's see. Now you can leave. You come over here. You come over here. Okay, why don't you guys... Whoa! Yeah, I should have gotten you some umbrellas, but I didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I meant to do that. Yeah, okay, change that. That's a little bit loud. Okay, no, you're not going. You may think you're going, but you're not. Okay, go ahead and take this photo. Let's get this over with. Okay, so all we now have to worry about is Gwendolyn. So Gwendolyn, I'm gonna keep you over here. You can skate for a little while. You can skate. You're not going home. I'm not letting you go home. I don't care what you're thinking about. Just get over here and skate. Okay, good. I'm so mean. Absolutely mean. I should actually should not do this to him. But it's just rain. It's not going to kill him, is it? Well, the, the lightning might. So, that's okay. okay. We got three of the photos. We just need the fourth one. Come on, Gwendolyn. Get off this thing. Because your show is going to show up pretty quick. Uh, actually, you're going to have to go over here and set up your stage. Now, we don't really have the money to buy all the props, and I don't really want to waste the money on props for this one, because really, the park doesn't get you a whole lot of money. It's just something you use temporarily to get some more um, experience. Oh. Well, she didn't act rude to him. Go get your picture made. You probably look like, you know, something that a cat threw up, but go ahead and do it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and... Make sure this is low. Oh, it already is. All right, go ahead and get up there, and you want to go do your show. And hopefully, you'll have some people watch you. Hey, stinky lady, maybe this rain will make you smell better. Probably not. Okay, Shane's getting better at his skating. Good. Now we got all our photos. Okay, Tabitha's getting better. All right, you guys are doing good. Okay. All right, I can hear Katy Perry over there, but Katy, you're about to get drowned out by Gwendolyn, so I hope you don't feel too bad about that. Go ahead and let's sing something. Let's do um, one more day, one more gray day. Sing a verse, sing a chorus. Verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Don't ever tell a joke at this point. Unless they have a high charisma skill, the joke is always going to fail, so it's not worth it. Alright, you guys ought to go over here and watch her at least. Because she's only going to be on there for about an hour and a half or two. And then she's done. And that's because the um, the festival ends at 9. And whatever show you're doing is going to get cut off. 
Okay, we'll get in a little bit closer and see her. I apologize if it's too loud. I'll try to be louder, but you know, I'm not very loud to begin with. Okay, there we go. And yeah, it's a rainy day, but you know, she's got a few people watching her. It's mostly her housemates, but you know, at least she got an audience. It's sad when they go over here and only like one person shows up. Oh man! Oh, okay, that was fun. I thought they were being mean to each other. Um, watch your friend. Come watch the show. This is a, actually supposed to help build your relationships, so. There you go. And you. Oh, she was paparazzi. We don't need to deal with her anyway. Okay, yeah, Avery, we missed the party, but that's okay. Alright, you should be getting pretty close to finishing this up. We'll go ahead and end the song. Now, the more you do, if you actually participate and make them do things, apparently the better you're going to do, the better your performance. But also, the more props you have out, the better your performance is going to be. But like I said, this one, I don't spend a whole lot of time. It's not going too well. We're going to mix it up. All right, well, we'll mix it up. Let's see what we can do. I'm not going to talk to the audience. She's only got about another hour, and then it's going to be over. Well, there's only... Only our housemates are watching, so they're not going to be too judgmental. Come on, guys. Now, you can actually do this. You can throw something. You can actually throw stuff on the stage. So you can throw some flowers, like a bouquet of roses. And then you, why don't you go and throw something over at her? Why don't you throw, um, throw a football, because I want a football. Okay, wait a minute. you got to sing something else. No, don't finish the show. Don't finish the Oh man, I almost I almost messed up. You're gonna go ahead and do Oogie Fever, because everybody likes Oogie Fever. Sing a verse, sing a chorus. And another verse. And another chorus. Another verse and chorus. And then of course you didn't send anything, did you? Go ahead and throw stuff at her. Let's throw something else. Let's throw um let's see. A baseball. You might as well throw something else. Um anything you want. Yeah, now of course this is costing us money, so you got to be careful, but it's kind of fun. And you can make a request. Uh, no, nah, I don't want to make a request. She's already got her plan. Um, you, could th you could heckle her, but that would be mean. We're going to respond uh, positively. And let's see, we're going to wave our hands in the air. You're going to respond positively too. Uh, let's see. Why don't you go ahead and jump around? Act like an idiot. She'll do it in a minute. Okay, Avery, why can't you do this? For some reason, you can't respond. Oh, you must have done all the things you can do. Yeah, okay, you guys have already done everything you can do. Alright, so I guess you guys are finished. And you can't really do much else except just... Oh, we already set up the stage. Why does it tell me to do that? I don't know. For some reason, it's just not letting me work with her. Okay, I'm sitting, hitting the stage. I should be hitting her. Uh, cell phone. No. Well, nobody's watching it. Oh, I guess it's because it's after 9 o'clock. That's why the festival or the performance should be over. Okay, she ought to finish this thing up. This is why it might be a glitch. She might not be able to finish. Which is sad. She may not get paid for this, which is a darn shame, too. Come on, I'm just going to let her finish this up. And if she's still singing after another hour or so, then it's too bad. Um, what's her gig going like? It's going until 10 o'clock, so it should end any minute. <laughs> Mercedes. Well, you know, nobody told you to stand out there like an idiot. You could have gone home at any time. Okay, we should have been able to stop this show. But apparently we can't. Okay, yeah, you go ahead and stop the show. Is that it? Okay, there you go. Now you're performing. Now you're ending it. Did you make any money? See, that's the bad thing about this show is that you don't make money if it's during the festival. So I hate that, but you got to come and do it. So she really didn't get anything out of this. Um, no money. She got some experience, but really not that much. So I would say if you're going to do this and if it's during a festival time, cancel out and try to get one like um, like Avery or 
yeah, Shane's got one. I think his starts at 4.30, so he'll actually be able to do it and get the full effect of it. But you can kind of see that's what you're really kind of supposed to do. Okay, now I told you somebody's going to have to pay the bills, and that's going to be you. So go ahead and pay the bills. You, on the other hand, so you really need to work on logic. So we're going to go ahead and let you listen to this. Let's listen to your logic a little bit, because that's what you got to work on for job. And let's see, other than that, you could have some leftovers. When you're done, you could actually go to the bathroom. Got to unclog that, too. Then you can take your shower. And then you need to go on to bed. I uh, got you at the top bunk. Okay. You, on the other hand, uh, now that you're here, <laughs> go ahead. And, yeah, you're a diva. Go ahead and let's see. Compliment yourself. And let's see. Yeah, you can't really do anything. Do it to da. Come on, you can do one. Okay, go ahead and eat then. If you. If that's all you're going to do, go ahead and eat something. Uh, eat some goopy carbonara. Oh, you're going to go in here and do the ta-da. There you go. All right, so you got that done. Um, Shane, you know, you don't have to go check yourself out in the mirror. Get out of here. You go ahead and eat something, too, because you're hungry. Eat all this stuff up. And then, Avery, did you go? What are you doing? Oh, he's going to re oh, he's a nice guy. He's going to recycle all on his own. Now you're going to take a shower. I was actually going to let you eat. Yeah, let me go ahead and let you eat. Then you can actually shower afterwards. And I'll get you to go to bed. Okay, let's see. You're actually down here. And then Shane, you really don't need to take a shower, but you probably should. But I'm going to go ahead and let you eat and go to bed. Gwendolyn, since she's out of the way, you can do the same thing. Oh, uh, you got to clean this thing. Great. So get you clean, and then that way you guys will all be taken care of. I really, really need to either get... Oh, Bone Hill, that would be perfect. But I don't know if we can do that. We can't do it right now because we don't have enough money. She costs almost 4000 so it's not really worth it. Well, you know, Avery... You said you wanted to go take a shower. You really don't need one, but I'm letting you do it. So go ahead and do what you got to do. Gwendolyn, finish this thing up really quick, and then you can actually use it. We really should have had um, Tabitha working on the logic skill all throughout the day, but I didn't think about it. I was just thinking, okay, well, oh, man, you got to clean this too. We need a maid. Can we afford a maid? It's 150 a day. Yeah, that'd be a lot of money throughout this entire week. I don't think we can really afford it. But I really want to get one. Big time. Alright, so go ahead and clean that up. And then we'll get you to bed. So let's see what we got here. Tabitha's an excitable sim. Okay, well, I'm glad to know that. But we'll get this all cleaned up. That was pretty bad, pretty nasty too, so it's got rings around it. We're going to have to do something, because with four people using these two bathrooms, it's going to be constantly messy, and she's going to be tough to deal with. Um, so yeah, maid is probably going to come up. Normally what I do when I'm playing my game, um, normally now I usually will go with Bone Hilda, but with my families usually what I would do is I would actually wait until they had a certain amount of money and then I would say they had to get a maid. So normally that's $5,000. So once they hit 5000 regardless of where they're living, what they're doing, they're supposed to get a maid. That's my own little rule that I put on myself. I haven't done it to any of my LPs because you know I've had Bone Hilda or I've had a butler and that's been a little bit different but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and do that for this family is once they actually hit maybe even a little bit less than five thousand avery you were supposed to pay the bills not just go out there and play so anyway he didn't pay it but after they do i'm probably going to go ahead and um, make them get a maid that way it'll keep their money down because the showtime careers they make so much money so fast that it eventually it gets to where it's not fun because you're just you make too much so that's going to be my thing, and we won't do the butler, and we don't, we won't do Bone Hilda. We'll do an actual maid. So that's my promise. I hope I can keep it. I think I can. All right, go ahead and go ahead and go to bed, and then I'm going to let everybody else go to bed. Everybody else is already asleep, and I'm going to cut out of here until we're up and ready to go. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, poor pa poor Tabitha's about to bust, so she needs to go ahead and get on up and. Um, she should be getting up on her own anyway, but her carpool's coming, so let me go ahead and make sure she gets out of bed. 
She's hungry. She needs to use the bathroom. Looks like Avery, he actually just needs the bathroom. So we're going to go ahead and get him taken care of. We'll get him to go ahead and take a shower, and then he can clean this thing, because he's not too bad. Then he can eat. Um, everybody else, let's see, Gwendolyn, you're good. Uh, Avery, you're pretty good, too. So I think what we'll do is we'll have just these two worry about getting their needs met, and then the rest of them, if they are really hungry, they can eat an apple or something and not deal with it. But it looks like it's going to be a pretty decent day. So it'll be a good day for them to go out and um, perform for tips. I think what I'm going to do today is actually have them all perform in different places. So to do that, I need to get them going in different, uh, different areas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with whoever's up first, which of course is Avery. So once Avery is done, I'm going to send him down to the, um, the art museum. And he's going to perform there. Then I'm going to have, um, that's Shane, I'm sorry, why do I keep saying Avery? And then what I'm going to do with him, with Avery, I'm going to have him come right over here. This is actually in between Mix and the coffee house. And then with Gwendolyn, she's going to go over to the Cake Pleasure Dome. And that way we just kind of spread them out, have them in different areas. He should be able to go pretty quick. And everybody else, as soon as they're up and they're ready to go, we'll get them out of here. Okay, Tabitha, your job is already here, so you got to get ready. you got to get out of the door because they're not going to stay very long. Let's see, what do you want to do? You want to buy a new recipe? I do want you to do that. And we need to buy a book, so i got to get you something in the bookstore or at least at the library. Come on, buddy. Let's speed this up a little bit so we can get you out and get you going. And we've got to get him working on his, his athletic skill. Um, I should have done that at the festival yesterday. But what I'll do is I'll get him performing for tips, and then when he actually wears out, then I'm going to have him go over to the gym and work out. So that's going to be his plan for the day. Hopefully I'll stick with it. I have a habit of saying these things, and it all sounds good in the morning, but then by the afternoon it all changes. So anyway... As long as we can get them out in different places, maybe they won't be um, cannibalizing each other on tips. And that would be a good thing, or actually be a bad thing if they did it, but it'd be good if they actually don't, so they can interact with different people. Okay, this is the art, fest the art museum, which we've been here before. And remember, there's a guitar up there in this place that if you really wanted to use, you could actually do it. Okay, you got to go perform that job, so you know what? Cake Pleasure Dome's just going to have to wait. All right. Shane, in fact, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to actually take, you go ahead and perform. I don't know, there's nobody here. That's fine. It doesn't really matter who's here and who's not. Okay, you're going to go ahead and, please tell me you didn't go in here to eat. Oh, you did. All right, well, you know, if you were that hungry, you might as well. Okay, I guess she's got two jobs to perform. Let's see, did she get them all? I'm sure she did. I probably put two of them in there twice. No, I didn't. Oh, no. Let's see, I don't know who that is and who that is who that is so at least we got okay that one's going to be done anyway so it doesn't matter all right come on buddy get out of here so you can get going because everybody else is working you want to flirt with somebody but you really want to reach level four of your career which i'd like you to do that but i gotta get you out of here come on now okay let's go ahead and have you perform for tips and yeah you could actually um you could go over here and you could audition already but i'm not going to make you do that okay now that she's actually done one of these Let's see, let's go over here and let's find her real quick. Where's she going? Oh, she's going to the salon. So that's good. And this is a place that I don't, I don't mind using it, but you got to be careful because when you do the salon, if you do the makeover, what will happen is it'll change their age and it lowers them back down. And, you know, it's okay if they're young, if you, or if you want that. If you want them to stay young forever, that's fine. It's an easy way to do it. Just come in here and do a real quick makeover or get a tattoo and their age goes back down to their beginning of whatever their life stage is at. But if you're trying to play like a long generational game and you know that they've got to die, well, this kind of messes up your timeline. So you got to be careful if you're going to use it or not. All right, so she made some money that way. Oh, man, we got to do another one? Yeah, so she's going to be busy for a while, so I'm going to let her do this. And this is basically all she's going to do. She's going to get a ton of these. And this is the reason why in most of my games, now it didn't happen in the first version of this Showtime LP, but in most of my games, the singer always levels up quickest because they get all these opportunities where the other ones don't. And, yeah, it's kind of sad. It's also sad that the acrobat doesn't make as much money when they top out, and they probably do the most work. So as far as, you know, having to do all the physical work. But, you know, nothing's fair. Okay, we're going to go back over and see how he's doing. He's over here performing for tips, and... Normally I like to go right over here and get in this area right there, but I'm not doing it this time. Man, 
Okay, did you get that one already locked in? I think you did. You got two over there? Okay, let's go t check out Shane, make sure he's okay. Okay, at least he's got somebody watching him, so that's good. And this is Danielle Platt. All right, so you go ahead and continue doing what you're doing. Uh, remember, you do have a show which will come up at 6.30, which means at 4.30 i got to get you over there. And that's not a bad thing. Okay, we're going to go catch up with, um, what's her name? Gwendolyn. She's at the library. Okay, who's this guy? Mitch Lee. We saw Mitch Lee. He was dancing on tables last time we saw him. Mitch, I bet you um, don't want anybody reminded of that. All right. Now, apparently, she's got more. She's got two more of these to do. That's not. Oh, that's the one we got to come back to eventually. Come on, stop, lady. All right, fine. You don't want to stop? I'll do it this way. Okay, so Gwendolyn, you're going to be running around town all day, and there's nothing wrong with that. Let's see, if he's not actually performing in front of anybody, then I'm going to move him. Oh wait, he's got two people, so that's fine. So usually you wait around long enough. Man, this guy's pale. Steve Cup. Look at this guy. Is he a vampire? Must be. Yeah, he's a vampire. You can see the tattoo. So let's say, you are pale. Okay, and then, of course, Tabitha over here. I should have had her working on something else, but you know what? It's okay, because right now, her career is not really dependent on anything except for her logic. And this is, of course, the hospital. It's the same as all the others, but it's a hospital science facility combined. All right, so you're going to be performing for Priscilla and... Gwendolyn, I hope you enjoy this. You haven't done any performing for tips. And see, that's the thing. She'll actually still be able to go and perform for tips and make a lot of money. But she's over here. She's doing this. And when she gets done, I want her to go over to the bookstore. So let's go ahead and find the bookstore, which is actually right here. Uh, no, it's not. That's the um, Whatchamadoodle. The bookstore is... Where's the bookstore? That's not it. Maybe it was there. It's a combination, I think. It's this one. Yeah, it's the day spa in the bookstore. So she's going to go shop for books. Now she could do it on her um, tabcast, but you know, where's the fun in that? Okay, you're over here. You're back at the library. Yeah, they don't ever seem to be at the right spot. Okay, Shane, you just got your promotion. You are now the uh, new title of performance artist, and you make 400 a week. Good for you, Shane. Let's go take a look at what you're doing. You're still performing. You're working your heart out. So that means you're at a level three. Now you ought to be getting there pretty close too. So Avery, you're going to be having it pretty soon. Somebody's making tips, and I'm assuming that it's... Yeah, it's, see how this one actually you do pretty well over here. And I do really well at the Cake Pleasure Dome. For some reason, they tend to do pr pretty well for me there. So when Gwendolyn finally gets settled down with all these crazy singing grams, I'm going to send her over there and see if we can't get this started. Um, let's see. She's doing that one, I think. Yeah, that's the one she's doing, so I'm not going to worry about it. That ought to be the last of them. <laughs> no, it isn't. Oh, man. So, yeah, she's going to be doing this for a while. So this is why um, she's going to level up quick. Now, you, my friend, let's see, it's 220. you got to worry about this around 430, so I'm not going to mess with you right now. Let's see if anybody else is showing up. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of people that come to the art museum, and I really don't blame them because there's not a whole lot to do here. But Avery, you just made it up to the title of um, Sim, the Sim of Mystery. So he's making 400 a week. So they're all actually doing pretty good. Of course, Gwendolyn is kicking all of them. She's actually almost hit level 4, and they just actually made it to level 3. But this is a typical game right now for me. This is what I normally see. The singer just kills it. All right. We're going to earn some money for tips. You need to perform at the coffee house. I haven't had you audition yet for it. Um, I'm not trying to rush you through it. Okay, okay, Shane, you're done now. So what I'm going to have you do is, let's see, you could go over here to the gym and work out for a little bit. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and do that. Um, but I don't want you to get sweaty because in just a couple of hours, you're going to have to go ahead and you're going to be going over to, um, oh wait, you're too tired. Yeah, you got too tired from working out or from doing that. So you can't really do that. What I can do is have you come over here and maybe you can go swimming. Okay, that'll be good. All right, you are probably just about done too because you guys started at about the same time. See, she is just never going to stop. Okay, what do we want to buy? We want to buy some recipe books, and these will count as the three, the three books that she can read. All right, we got ratatouille, we got chili con carne, we got vegetarian. Let's just go ahead and get all the level, the blue ones, which I think she can't really read all of them, but we're going to go ahead and get them anyway. Did I get fish and chips? Yeah, I did. 
hot and sour soup, cookies, and fruit parfait. That's enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her... Let me go ahead and pause for just a minute. I need her to go find a place to go where she can read. I don't want her to go home. That's kind of boring to go sit at home and read. Now, she could go out by the beach, which would be nice. Uh, that's a house. But she could go over here to the beach. We could do that. I could take her to the casino, but there's too much of a temptation to actually gamble. Um, but we could go out over here. And this is a place that I don't usually go. So I'm going to go ahead and bring her out over to this section of the town. So you come ahead and get in that cab, go all the way up. Now the problem is she doesn't get, she has to actually walk for most of it. So I'm going to send her up there, and she's just going to do some reading over there. And Quindlin, goodness, there's a lot of needy people that need to actually to be have their egos stoked. Okay, so Tabitha, you actually made it up to paramedics, so she got a raise today. She's doing really, really good. Because um, I think that's level three, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah, she made it to level three. And she is very, very happy. She's excited from her promotion. Look at those horses. Those are beautiful. Okay, so once you get over here, there is a little place for you to sit. And yeah, I know I'm not actually messing with the other people, but I need to worry about Avery in just a second. I want to get her set up over at this little gazebo. Let's see, where's the one? Yeah, this is the one that has all the seats. So I'm going to have her come over here. And you go, come on, do I have you? I'm clicked on you, right? Go here. Yeah, I know in two hours he needs to go, so let me go ahead and send him over. Let's send him to his gig, because even if we're not there, he'll at least get started. You, on the other hand, you got to go do this one. you got to go do this one. I wish I would have kept count. And then you are actually eating again. Or no, you're getting drinks. All right, that's fine. Go get your drinks. Okay, you are going to actually read some books. You're going to read Chili Con Carne. Uh, you're going to read Cookies. Hold on, don't start. Because if I can get these set up, then I don't have to come back and do this again for a while. Fish and chips. Let's see. Hot and sour soup. Just going right in order. If you can. I don't know if you can or not. Maybe you won't be able to read them. I don't know. I don't know what your level is. Let me look. Yeah, you're at a level three. You should be able to do all those. All right. So anyway, you can see that this is just a nice little area over here where you can come and you can grill out. You can play chess. You can paint. You can obviously read. You can um, have a little fire pit. You can fish. Um, you got a little bar so you can mix drinks. You got your bathrooms over here on the side. It's just a nice little place that you don't normally come to here in um, Starlight Shores. And of course you can dance because there's a stereo over here. So if you don't know about this place or you don't use it, I try to use it every once in a while. Um, I think in my original show, uh, the original parts, um, Avery and, or not Avery, uh, Aaron and Christopher came over here a couple of times, or at least once. Okay. You, busy lady. I know you are just doing what you got to do. We need to work with him. Okay. No, 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 no. You don't need to be doing this. You got a job. You got to come over here and work. Let's go ahead and uh, use the venue stage because I know even though we've got a little bit of money. Smelly lady, don't you have a house? Don't you have a shower? We could throw some water on you or something and get some soap out. Come on. All right. He's going to come on over here and let's see. She's going to be reading. When she's done, um, I might as well go ahead and have her come on over here and watch the show. See now, you gonna watch the show. You're gonna watch the show. Okay, you. You're gonna go ahead and you are going to mime a pulling of the rope. You're going to do the fire baton. Oh, she can't come over and do this. She's got too much to work on. Sorry, they won't leave you alone. Okay, she just learned how to make cookies. We still need to make that food because she's got to turn that in. I think it's a time deal, too. All right, Tabitha, you're doing good. All right, let's see. Where are we going? You know, you can do this on your own. You don't need me to tell you everything, do you? I guess you do. Okay. All right, so he's going to go ahead and let's see what else we can do. Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't been practicing, and that's why we're not going to do so well in this. you got to practice these skills, and I always forget... I just get him out here doing the shows, and it's like, oh, okay. So Gwendolyn just got another another promotion. So, like I told you, you never have to really worry too much with the um, with the singer. They usually go fast. Okay, you want to be the human statue? Uh, let's see, you can dazzle the audience. I don't know if you can really do that. All right, you're good to go for a while. You come on over here. Are you actually watching? Why don't you go ahead and throw... Let's see. Yeah, we missed something. Yeah, we, we didn't do what we were supposed to do. All right, go ahead and throw him, um, throw him a teddy bear. And then why don't you go ahead and respond positively by, let's see, 
Hmm. Point in amazement. Let's see if you do it. Go ahead and point. All right, come on. He's not. There he's pointing. There you go. There's your points. Okay, and you guys are too loud. You're actually drowning him out, so we're gonna skip over you. All right, Gwendolyn or Tabitha. You're actually over here in this nice little area. You can actually eat an apple. Don't go anywhere. You're gonna come back up here, and I'm gonna let you. Let's see what do you need to do. Yeah, you are kind of hungry, but other than that, you're fine. You might as well go ahead and you got rid of that wish for reading three books. So let's go ahead and listen to logic, and then I'm gonna have you just read these normally. Okay. Okay, you can't read that one because your cooking skill is too low. So you can't do all of them. All right, you want to be worth more than 25,000 and you want to reach level 5. All those are good wishes. Now, I think you can listen and read at the same time if I'm not mistaken. I've done this before and, yeah, you can do them both. So that's good. She's actually getting two skills at the same time. Let's go back and see what Gwendolyn's doing. Gwendolyn, you're finished? Really? All right, well, come on over to the Cake Pleasure Dome. Come on. Let's see if we can get you doing something else. It's not like you really need to because, come on, let's take a... Let's take a look at you. You've hit level four. All right, but you can go over here and see if we can actually have you perform. I don't think you can because I think you've actually done enough. But uh, we'll try. And yeah, I need, need to go back over and see how um, how he's doing. I think we already did that one, didn't we? No, we didn't. You gotta do this again. You know, Priscilla, you just gotta wait. No, you're not. You're gonna have to just do it. Let's go back up. I can't perform anything, so go ahead, do these, and then we'll go back over here to Shane. Shane, work your heart out. Okay, I think this is something that I had you set up to do. Let's go ahead and let's do another mime trap in the box. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to juggle, juggle some torches. Okay, nobody's watching your show. I feel bad for you. Um, there's really not a whole lot you can do at this point, so you're kind of stuck with just whatever you're doing. You could talk to the audience, but his charisma skill is not that high. It's 9 o'clock, and of course we're getting the same problem. I think there's... Oh, okay, that's because this thing is actually going until 9.30, but he's done. Please tell me that he's going to make money. Good, he made... See, that's all she lost. She lost $200. So it was really not that big of a deal. All right, so Avery, the reviews of your show are in. The show was quite good. Couldn't tell if it was a great performer on an off day or an average performer putting on the show of their life. Well, you know what? He did well enough, he's going to go set off some fireworks. So go ahead and you just launch them. You know, that's, that's your celebration right there. Go launch some fireworks. Hang on, don't launch this one yet. I want to see you launch them all. Going into map view, we're going to take a look. you got to do this in the summertime. So, And I never use the ones that are in the grocery store. I need to do that. I've got one of my families that has a bunch of them in their inventory. We've got to remember to do that. Um... I told you to set it off. Did you not do it? Was it a dud? No, it can't be a dud. It's coming. As soon as I go back in, you know that's when it's going to actually start. There we go. It's like something's up. Well, that was nice. Tabitha, you getting sick? We ought to go on home then. No reason for me to keep you out. Yeah, it's already 10 o'clock, so you probably ought to go home. Well, it's not frozen because I see cars moving, so come on, you gonna like this one? Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, I like that one. I mean, so far I like all of them, but that one was a good one. <laughs> no more singing cramps, please. Poor girl, she's she's done. I'm done. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any more. Tell you what, why don't you go ahead and go on home too. And Avery, you're talking to Annabelle. You know, you might as well go home too. It's not like you can. You can well, actually, you know what? Don't. Can you can you audition? Oh, he's already. No, no, no. Go back up. I think all the proprietors are gone, so you can't really audition here, which is fine because it's time for us to go anyway. So you go ahead and go on home. Shane, you're celebrating, even though it wasn't the greatest show in the world. You're gonna have fun. Might as well. We haven't even gone over to the beach, and of course tomorrow is the last day of summer, so we need to go over there. I gotta remind myself that we're gonna go to the beach, and I gotta get them some floats so they can get in the water and do that. All right. So, now he's got one more firework after that. There's your snowflake. And then let's see, there's a couple other places I want to go. There's a lot of things I want to do, but you know, you run out of time. You think that seven days is enough, but really it's not. So. 
I don't know. It's hard to gauge what would be a good time frame because sometimes a little bit's too long. You know, one's too long, one's not long enough. But all right, Shane, you can go ahead and go on home. I'm gonna go with you real quick. Make sure you get out of here. So he had a good time. He did a good show. He got paid for it. Yeah, there's some flowers we could pick, and we're just walking away from easy money. But that's okay. We're gonna go on and get home, and we'll work on some more of their wishes tomorrow. But tomorrow it's gonna be a fun day. I figure. We need to have a day, a couple, at least one day or two days off. And actually, the festival day is one of them. And on the weekend, we ought to take at least one more. So I'm thinking tomorrow, since they've done so well in their careers, I'm not going to push them. I'm going to let them go ahead and have the day off and go to the beach, go do some fun things, maybe come back to the festival since it's only here for one more day, and then it'll be um, fall. So anyway, that's the plan. Uh, whatever I said we were going to do at the very beginning, I hope I did it. I can't remember. That tells you how quickly I forget. So anyway, uh, yeah, I'm giving away too much about my craziness. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. And uh, yeah, he's going to do this too. So thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.